gotten quite a few more decks since I last seen you. I have so many more decks now. It's awesome. I love being able to give more detailed readings. So this is one of my favorite new decks I got. This is the Water Crystal deck. So I want you to spend a moment to focus your energy on this Water Crystal here. Focus on its beauty and shape. Now I'm gonna flip it over and we have the word rainforest, earth. The rainforest might be important to you this week, Leo. I know the rainforest is um, being destroyed very rapidly right now, so you might be feeling its pain. so you can focus your energy on that crystal. And the first card we have here is the Page of Swords. So somebody might be spying on you or gossiping about you, or you might be spying on somebody else and gossiping about them. have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so it could be um, jealousy over financial wealth that is um, having this gossip go about or spying. Somebody might be jealous of your wealth or you might be jealous of somebody else's wealth. You'll probably get more cards that clarify. We have the Hierophant. So, you're learning a lesson about something. You might be becoming wiser about um, your finances. Or about this person spying on your finances. Um, being that we have the Rainforest card, I kind of feel like maybe you're looking into ways, this is just something that came to me, maybe you're looking into ways that your money is affecting uh, the environment. And you might be learning how to uh, be more environmentally friendly. Here we have the Fool in Reverse. Um, that's telling me that you're having trouble taking on this new responsibility. Now, I now that we have the rainforest, I'm really feeling this whole vibration that you're you're tr trying to be more eco-friendly but you're having difficulty um, being more eco-friendly. You're just not quite sure how to take the appropriate steps to reduce your 
impact on the environment. We have the Two of Cups here. So, I feel like someone you love is going to really help you through this. We also have the medical symbol there. Medicine might be important to you. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. So you're trying to communicate with urgency um, how you feel about this. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So you're definitely having trouble initiating the momentum in um, getting finding ways to become more eco-friendly, uh, more responsible with the way you spend your money. Um, here we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you might feel like it would require too much money to um, be more eco-friendly and that might be where you're ch challenged with it. But I feel like you will find the money for it. We have the Ten of Swords. You're definitely hurting. This is um, hurting you. Um, I feel like you feel the pain of the rainforest right now. How sad. one that wants to come out right there. We have the seven of pentacles. I also see a sea turtle on there. Yeah, you're definitely fighting for environmental causes right now. Um, I feel like you might be trying to raise money or find the money to help with um, fighting, um, fighting environmental causes, whether it be the rainforest or, um, ocean pollution. Here we have the four of wands. Um, I feel like you're going to have a partner that's going to help you with this. Um, it could be your, um, significant other, but, um, it's, might bring about a marriage. 
that you are both fighting for what you believe in? I feel like you both share a common bond with uh, this cause. And here we have the Hierophant again, or the High Priest. Yeah. You could be very spiritually aware. Uh, you're learning. You're learning how to be more in tune with the earth and protect it. You have the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So you're going to need love to win the battle. But that's always how it goes. You don't win anything with fear. I am the dreamer of my dream. So yeah, you can make your dreams come true. Whatever you dream, whatever you want, you are the dreamer, make it a reality. Here we have Proteus, the old man of the sea. Plan, relax, flow with the tide. So you're definitely going to have to plan ahead and go with the flow if you're going to make any changes. Then we have the Vate. The secret of happiness is consciously uniting with the best in you. I feel like we kind of have like a divine feminine and divine masculine in there. Um, you're definitely going to be, it's going to be important to work with your divine feminine or divine masculine to accomplish this dream of what I'm guessing is protecting the environment, making changes to the world. One small step at a time. Eco warrior Leo. Okay, we have simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Um, I see this as you possibly 
clearing out clutter so you can uh, better fight the fight. Um, to achieve your dreams. And here we have morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So, um, say your morning affirmations. Do what you need to do in the morning so you can bring your dreams into reality. So I'll take a closer look at all these cards here, see if I can pick up any symbols. kind of looks like two people kissing so I definitely think you and your divine feminine and masculine are going to work together uh, for the same goal um, I see sharing your consciousness there and um, just, um, you both have the same like values um, on this here uh, he's holding a baby seal and kind of like protecting it so i feel like you just want to protect all the animals or your partner just wants to protect all the animals um we have this rainbow here and it's like you're spreading rainbows you're spreading beauty wherever you go you're spreading hope another picture of protecting animals. I feel like you're very, um, you're very, you're very in touch with nature. You and your partner, you both, um, love the environment. You both love animals. You want to protect them. Rainforest, earth. We want to protect the earth. It's like you're guiding them. He looks like a shepherd. You're guiding them. You want people to come with you. It's like it's something you would die for. You're fighting for it. Here we have this uh, tree spirit protecting animals again. she's holding on to a peach. Peaches are very lucky, so I feel like you're going to have a lot of luck and success, um, especially when you join together with this other person. Um, being that we have this medical symbol, the, um, what do you call it? I know what it's called. I know what it's called, but I can't remember. But, you know, the medical symbol, the two snakes around the staff with the um, wings. I feel like you both have to do with medicine. You might be, you might be um, veterinarians that are going to help animals. You might be um, doctors. A bit, I feel like you might be herbal, herbalists. Like, there's definitely you share you share some kind of healing properties together you're both healers um, I feel like you're gonna make your money this way like this is how you're gonna make your money this is how you're gonna make your wealth is you're gonna be 
prosperous through um, protecting the environment, through uh, helping animals, through um, whatever you need to do that is protecting the earth. Um, we have a seahorse here. Seahorses often have to do with fatherhood or being good parents. So um, you might be really good parents or you might be really good at nurturing things like animals. Um, you're just like one with the animals here. Here we, you're protecting a fish again. Like you're definitely really protecting these animals. And you're following your dreams. That is super cool, Leo. Well, I hope this spoke to you. I really do hope this spoke to you because we need more people like you. Um, and if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really like to hear it. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this reading. Um, have a great week, Leo. Bye-bye.